Now, our first question, one plus one. Yes. Two. Incorrect. Yes. Multiculturalism. Well done, Simon. Next question, what is three times three? Yes? Nine. Wrong. Yes, Penelope. Gender equality. Very good, Penelope. Is this a joke? You think gender equality is a joke? No, but isn't this a maths class? Don't be so racist. I just asked a question. We don't ask questions. Questions are offensive. Yeah! Now, students, I trust you've all completed your research assignments. And remember, the person with the highest mark will be flying to New York to present their paper at the World Mathematics Summit. Well done, Penelope. Six out of ten. You too, Simon. Six out of ten. Hey. Be careful. You've been staring at her for 10 seconds. What? It's a form of harassment to stare at a woman for more than 15 seconds straight. And when I use the term straight, I don't mean to offend any persons of a non-traditional sexual preference. And when I use the term non-traditional, I don't mean to offend any persons who oppose historically normalised... Okay, okay, I get it. Unfortunately, Sunshine, your research assignment is only worth a 1 out of 10. I've used Fourier transform and mathematical methods in electronics to analyse the electrodiagrams of at-risk patients and calculate their risk of experiencing a heart attack. I mean, it's a new method, but it could potentially save thousands of lives. Seven. You barely even read it. You used red pen. What? Red is considered defensive in many religions. Why would you belittle everything down to a singular colour? Well, humanity is a rainbow of beauty and spirituality. Yeah. Okay, fine, seven out of 10, but that still means I get to go to the summit, right? The marking process isn't over yet. Now, because we live in a society based on equality, the total amount of marks are to be divided equally among our students. You've got to be kidding me. Well done, students. We're all equal. We're all average. Yay! But then who gets to go to the summit? Oh, we haven't added our privilege points yet. Don't you know anything? That is correct. Now, Penelope, you are female, so that's plus one privilege point. However, you are white, so that's minus one. But I'm also bisexual. Plus one. That leaves you with a total score of six out of ten. Simon, unfortunately, you're straight, white and male. And cisgendered. Yes, so that's minus four privilege points, which leaves you with a total score of one. It's only fair. Now you. You're male and I don't like you. So that's minus two privilege points, but you are brown and sexually ambiguous. So that's plus two. That leaves you with a total score of five. Wait, why am I sexually ambiguous? And finally, Sunshine. Um, I'm gay, I'm trans, I'm Asian. <laughs> I'm overweight, I'm lower class, I'm unintelligent, unattractive. I've got hairs on my nipples. And I also got body odor. And I can't really run properly or tie my shoelaces by myself. And I once watched a pigeon die. Wonderful, Sunshine. That's. 13 privilege points. That leaves you with a total score of 18 out of 10. Well done, Sunshine. You're going to New York. Hooray, Sunshine! We knew you could do it! Let me see this. <gasps> They've just written equality and drawn love hearts on a piece of paper. He expressed himself and it's beautiful. He didn't even spell equality correctly. We don't discriminate. This has nothing to do with mathematics. Do you think you're so great with your maths and your science and your facts? What about feelings, huh? Yeah. Feelings are more important than facts. Yeah! This is wrong. You're all crazy. <gasps> Stop violating me with your different opinions! I have the right to speak my mind! No, we have the right not to be offended. And that's more important. 
And if you don't stop verbally assaulting us, we will be forced to attack you in self-defense. Can't do that. Actually, we have every right to do so. And it's illegal for you to fight back. 